I guess the difference between an old fashioned conspiracy theorist like me, that's that's not cocaine, by the way, it's talking powder. But you're welcome to think it's cocaine. An old fashioned conspiracy theorist like me, and what we'll call it true for, you know, that type is this idea that uh, the truth has an absolute statement to it and they discount the fact that the conspiracy is often the conspiracy. I'll give you an example. If you'd ask the average person today, was the Kennedy assassinations a setup? And they say, well, what do you mean? They say, well, do you think Lee Harvey Oswald did it? And they say, well, it doesn't seem like he did on his own. And they go, well, you got to admit that much. And then he'd ask him about other things, about the magic bullet. And he says, yeah, the Warren Commission is a bit funny and all that stuff. But then if you were to go and say, well, what really happened that day in Dealey Plaza was a coup by the CIA to take over the United States. And they've they've done it ever since. They've run it ever since. They go, oh, God, it's ridiculous. The CIA didn't do a coup. you know. So the conspiracy was the conspiracy. They're allowed to believe in Lee Harvey Oswald being a patsy, they're allowed to believe that there's some greater sort of like overlords behind it. But to go as far as believing what the actual truth is, that being that the CIA staged a coup that day and took over the United States and they're now running it in tandem with the, the neocons, they, they, they wouldn't believe you. That's, so the conspiracy is the conspiracy. They gave them the Harvey Oswald and that that that's enough for them, you know. They don't want to go to the next stage, and that's you know that was always a thing with the 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 Kennedy, you know, ex conspiracy, which is what it was. It was one you could always introduce to the average person and get them. It was a a good icebreaker for talking about conspiracies. But for years, I often wondered about Jack Ruby. What's the story with Jack Ruby? And it's only recently I found out true. Tom O'Neill's chaos that he was an MK Ultra, you know, subject. And that, that explained Drap Ruby, why he threw away his life and paid a heavy price for claiming to be just a patriot. This thing. So, you know, the with the thing with the conspiracy being the conspiracy, I, I don't actually throw myself a hundred percent in with anything. Uh, my attitude, like like 9-11, like my attitude at that is it's yeah, this is as dodgy as anything, but I don't have the answers. But I always try to be as discerning as possible. What what can we actually put our fingers on that suggest a skullduggery? The five dancing Israelis, uh, the BBC, Building 7 being on the BBC news report before it went down, the inflammable passport, the fact that the Bin Laden family were suddenly rushed out of the USA before, you know, as soon as it happened. The one who was the supposedly done out there his family is protected personally by the bushes and also that the hijackers the saudis were all directly connected to the saudi royal family who were like this with the bush family and there's a few other things but they're the ones you can really go with because they're kind of like they're basically bulletproof and although you don't have the absolute you know reason for it you can just say look they're, they're open ends there's there's they're they're knots that haven't been untied they're they're if they're they're, you know, they're things that haven't been sorted out. So as long as they're out there, it's obviously been to some skullduggery went on in 9-11. But, you know, that's a that's that's a far more sensible way than screaming about the planes or holograms, uh, directed energy weapons. And it doesn't matter. Even that stuff, stuff is true. You're in the world of sort of like, you know, esoteric thing. You know, you're in the world of the occult, which I'm not saying it doesn't have a valid thing to it. It does, but, I mean, I'm talking about... In, addressing the normal person the conspiracy is often the conspiracy so often like you know things like the flat earth that's been put out there by the intelligence agencies to just make all conspiracy theorists look like nutcases and they did it in the run-up towards the rona and the needle craft so you know that's why they used the word conspiracy theory so much leading when that was happened or any, you know, they they really went to town using that, you know, far right conspiracy theorist because they had already.
put it out there that consp the conspiracy theorists, all of them believe in the flat earth. So they're all thickos, you know, this kind of thing. So anyone who was discerning about it got tagged with the same brush. So the conspiracy of that was so the, the flat earth, the conspiracy is the conspiracy. You know, the, the things we can actually put them, you know, the, the crazy stuff from 9-11, no planes and all, that was probably all invented by them and directed energy. Whatever happened to Judy Woods, she kind of vanished. Interesting, that one, isn't it? The conspiracy is the conspiracy. You know, taking your eyes off the hard stuff. And that brings us to Epstein's Island. Now, there is an obsession with the Epstein's flight list, like, and the Epstein's thing, like, you know, that, you know, teenage girls being brought there and w what celebrity is on the list. And the truth is something like this. Like, eh, eh, they're like that, you know, they're in that, they're in that state of, you know, they're in that state of attacking the pediatrician's house, uh, thinking a pediatrician and pedophile are the same thing. And they're doing things like making up what, one of the famous things the truthers do that's so disgusting is that they make up false evidence. So they make up fake lists of who's on it. You know, they do things like that. And uh, this is this is the you know that so they make up all the truthers are all sharing sharing around uh, these fake lists of who was on the flight thing, and then you're given all the distractions about all that, and you're thinking uh, you, you've got into your head that the only thing that Epstein's Island is about is about you know girls are being trafficked and which celebrity or which royalty can we take down? I got news for you, that's not what this story is about. The conspiracy is the conspiracy. You know what the real story is here? Human bioengineering. This is what Epstein was involved with. And the whole hysteria about the island and trafficking girls, whether it's true or not, I'm sure it probably is. These people are scum. But that's what they want you focused on and not focused on the fact that Elaine Maxwell's father, Robert Maxwell, basically ran science. He controlled all the publications of peer-reviewed journals, uh, and he used a lot of the money he got into genetic engineering. And interesting enough, he was a, he was apparently a suicide or a strange death as well. And and both he, he probably was not dead on that yacht. He probably survived, just like Epstein is probably still alive. We just don't know. But the react the the, the thing is that. Rob, Robert Maxwell was involved in genetic engineering experiments on human beings. That has probably led us to the Wuhan and the needlecraft. This genetic, the, how he financed it was by all his, his scams. When he bought over newspapers, I think it was the Daily Mail, Daily Mirror in England, and he also took over the New York Post in New York. He took the pension funds of the print workers and the money vanished. And people think that he just used that money just for his private yachts and all this. No, it went into genetic experimentation on people and all this weird genetic stuff that they were going on, these human lab rats. And this is really as dark as it gets. Now, what has that got to do with Jeffrey Epstein? Well, we know Jeffrey Epstein was the boyfriend or whatever, whatever the fuck he was, of Ghislaine Maxwell, Robert Maxwell's daughter. Now, Epstein was heavily involved in paying for human, along with the Gates Foundation, human genetic experiments on children in West Africa. It's all out there. It's not even hidden. Go and have a look at it. But it's just like the way the needlecraft, they they hid, uh, you know, the fact that it was potentially dangerous was on th page three of Google. Well, the stuff about Epstein and his genetic experiments on African African children is on page 10 or whatever. You will find it eventually on Google or whatever you look. And the hype in the media about what's going on in the island with the teenage girl trafficking is the conspiracy to distract you from what Epstein is really about or was really about. He could still be alive. And that is some of the darkest shit you could imagine. And rather than 12-year-old girls are sorry, teenage girls being brought down to that island for sexual trafficking, they were more likely to be brought there to do genetic experiments on them. And that's what they don't want you knowing about. And this is why you have the likes of Stephen Hawkins in his wheelchair down there, obsessed with this thing, and all these other freaks. And that's why there was all these... 
people out often wondered, why are all these celebrity scientists all being flown to Epstein's island? Are they all perfect perverts who want like teenage girls? Maybe, but that wasn't the real reason. The real reason was they were there. They were probably being shown these kind of like, God knows, God awful, evil, uh, human experimentation things that the Epstein had been doing with, with, with money that had been given to him by like, you know, major hedge funds and so on and investment funds. In, and, you, and if you look long enough, you'll find Pfizer and AstraZeneca and the rest of them, I'm sure, involved in this, that all this led up to the needle craft. So instead of getting, you know, instead of, instead of being like the lunatic who, who went to the house obsessed with the Peter tradition, thinking it was a pedophile, try to be an old fashioned conspiracy theorist instead, instead of being a reactionary throofer. And yeah, even though that may be true, Often ask yourself, what is the initial is the is the is the conspiracy theory a real thing or is it hiding something else? Or more in this case, a distraction. And the distraction is far more gruesome than you could imagine. Epstein and the Maxwells are involved in human human genetic experimentation. And I believe it has something to do with the needlecraft and the Rona. And guess what? You're all being played with the whole Epstein's Island list, Prince Andrew and the Pizza Express. Uh, he doesn't sweat and all this stuff. What was going on down there was like something from Frankenstein's laboratory, I would bet you. But they don't want you knowing that. They don't want the public knowing that. But they're perfectly comfortable with the public thinking it was just a, a sex club for like uh, wealthy perverts. It was much worse than that. Remember, when you're approaching this stuff, the conspiracy is often the conspiracy.